Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems, Technical Tuesday. Today I'm not gonna do gun, I'm gonna do calculator. All right, so if you've ever wondered about some of the numbers that you see presented in marketing for handgun cartridges, muzzle energy, power factor, why is this company making a super lightweight nine millimeter? Why is this company you know, making a heavy one? Why do people love a 45 ACP? All of this comes down to this discussion. And I'm gonna show you also how to do your own calculations with one magic number, which I'll write on the board, and you can write that down and use it to compare cartridges yourself, okay? You have the 30 Super Carry coming out, claiming ballistics of a nine millimeter. Why, what does all this stuff mean, okay? So really, it comes down to a discussion about momentum versus energy, kinetic energy, which we usually call muzzle energy in this world. All right, so let's go back to physics for one second. Kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared, whereas momentum is mass times velocity. So you'll notice that the velocity is squared here. Velocity is a big part of this equation, whereas basically mass and velocity are, call it, evenly matched in the momentum world. Why does this matter? Well, a guy who loves this is going to like a 230 grain 45 ACP. And the guy who loves this is going to love like a, you know, 50 grain 9 millimeter at 2,000 feet per second. All right, so let's actually see how these numbers work. And I'm going to write the magic number down right now for muzzle energy. It is 450400. 450-0400. So if you want to calculate muzzle energies yourself, it's super easy. Velocity squared divided by 450400 times the bullet weight equals muzzle energy. Okay, so you can use this number yourself to actually compare things. Let's go over here and show the difference and why this matters. All right, so in the world of competition shooting, they talk about power factor. And, and power factor is, you know, the higher the power factor, the more powerful the cartridge is. So let's use the 45 ACP as it was loaded by the US government back in the day. So we got a 230 grain bullet at 850 feet per second. Okay, and let's actually break this down. Here, we're going to put momentum, which people will call power factor in the shooting world. And here, we're going to do kinetic energy, which we would call muzzle energy in the shooting world. All right, so power factor. Power factor is basically bullet weight times velocity. So 230 times 850 is 195, 500. So most people would just call that 195.5 power factor, okay? That's a big number, right? Let's calculate the muzzle energy. So remember, that's velocity squared divided by 4504 times bullet weight. 850 times 850 equals, divided by 450400 equals times 230. Muzzle energy of 368 foot-pounds. And again, the reason, the, the whole purpose of this is to get you to foot pounds. That's just a magic factor that gets you to foot pounds. All right, so we've got a power factor of 195, and we've got a muzzle energy of 368 for the good old fashioned 45. All right, now let's do a kind of a chill 115 grain 9 millimeter at 1200 feet per second. 115 at 1200. So, what's the power factor? 115 times 1200, it's a 138 power factor. It barely makes minor, well, no, it does make minor for USPSA competition. So that would be okay, all right? What's the muzzle energy? 1200 times 1200 divided by 450400 equals times bullet weight, okay? 368 foot pounds, again. So these are actually the same. Let me double check that, and they should be the same. 1, 200 times 1, 200 divided by 4, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0 equals times 1, 1, 5. Yeah, 368 foot-pounds. Okay, so these are basically identical in terms of muzzle energy, but this one's got a weak power factor. Oh, well, let's go to that old famous 90 PLE load, the federal 115 grain plus P plus, the, the, the law enforcement load of the 90s, okay? So that's 115 grain, nine millimeter at 1300 feet per second. 
So it's only 1200, it's only 100 feet per second more, right? But it's, it's the same bullet weight and stuff. Okay, what's the power factor? Now, 1300 times 115. 149. So we're still nowhere near the, the 45, right? But let's now calculate the energy. 1300 times 1300 equals divided by 450400 equals times 115. Get ready. 431 foot-pounds. 431. So how does that work? Well, again, it goes back to this idea of velocity really, really matters. It's squared when you're calculating muzzle energy. And so this is kind of the argument for the ultra-lightweight, ultra-fast-moving um, uh, loadings that you see out there. Okay, We've experimented with some stuff from Liberty. It actually shot great. It's like a 2,000 foot per second 9 millimeter. I bet it's got incredible energy. I've never calculated it. But the point is, velocity really, really matters if that's your focus and that's your, you know, that's your belief in stopping power, if you will. Obviously, you then also have this whole other layer of the FBI standards, which are well established. That's ballistic gelatin penetration. That's measurement of expansion as well. So you have to kind of factor those things in too if you're making cartridge comparisons. But you can also look at a new 30 Super Carry ballistically and say it's the same as a 32 h r Magnum based upon its ability to push a projectile at that velocity, at that weight. Okay? So what's the takeaway here? You can do your own comparisons and you can calculate muzzle energy using this factor. All right? You can, you can also look at it from a power factor perspective, which is, again, just velocity times bullet weight. And there's two schools of thought. One is the modern, where velocity counts, and the other is the old school, where you got a big, slow-moving American projectile, and that's the way they, they used to view the world. Okay, So that's the math lesson for the day. We'll get back to something less boring next time. Thanks so much.